Hello everyone, welcome to A plus BI. This channel is all about complex numbers and in this video we're going to be looking at a very very complex or maybe I should say a very very exponential tower problem. We have z to the power z to the power z plus 1 equals 4 and we're going to try to solve for z. I say try to because you'll see in a little bit what happens. First of all I'd like you to Try to guess first. Can you? I don't think so. But let's go ahead and proceed and see what happens. We have z to the power z to the power z plus 1. So that pattern breaks uh, on the third uh, or at the third level. Why? Because uh, for a good reason. You'll see. Okay, great. Let's go ahead and rewrite it. z to the z to the z plus 1. Now I can go ahead and actually write z to the z plus 1 as z to the z times z to the 1. So this becomes z to the power z to the z times z because z to the power 1 is the same as z. And then because when the exponents are multiplied, it just means the superpower property. So I can switch the exponents and then put this exponent inside the parentheses and write it as z to the z and then to the power z to the z because that's when the exponents are multiplied again. But guess what? This is nice. You know why? You'll see. Okay, this is equal to 4. Uh-oh, not again. The infamous W, right? Okay, don't worry. We'll take it easy. And I'll give you some numerical results. Don't worry, you don't have to look it up. I mean, if you want, you can. But here's how it goes. We have now too many Z's, right? It's like, okay, I'm falling asleep. Z to the Z and then that to do itself. Hmm, interesting. Let's go ahead and use substitution because I see repetition. Z to the Z, let's call that U. Yes, that's U. So from here we get U to the U equals 4, right? Nice. Well, it at least looks a little simpler. Guess what? Okay, great. So from here we can kind of write U to the U as 2 to the 2. And from here U equals 2. You got that? Cool. Now, that is a solution, but do we know for sure that's the only solution? Especially considering that this channel is all about complex numbers, A plus PI, right? Could there be only one solution and that's real, which is also complex, obviously. You could also write it this way. U to the U can be written as E to the power U ln U by using the exponential. And then this is equal to 4, but I can write the 4 as e to the power ln 4. So I basically exponentiated everything, which is nice, because from here we get something super duper nice. Instead of saying u to the u equals 4, now we're going to say this equals ln 4. Make sense? It's just a different level, which is really cool, because we're going to apply some very special functions. I know some people don't like it, but don't hate it. I was kind of not liking it very much, but then I saw some applications. It's kind of like a numerical solution, right? And calculators can do it. It's just a way of expressing things, and the quintic equation doesn't have a formula. I don't know why I said that, but anyways, let's proceed. Now, we have this thing, but I want to turn it into something that looks like t to the t, so I can w it, okay? And what happens if I w t to the t with Lambert's w function? I get the t. That's all it is. Don't make it too complicated. Now, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to write this first, ln u, and then u will be replaced with e to the power ln u. You know why? Because I want to turn it into t e to the t. That's why. And now it is. This is my t, and obviously I have t e to the t. And if I apply Lambert's w function on this, it's going to turn into ln u. What happens if I apply it on ln 4? Who knows, right? That's the tricky part because you don't always have a simple answer. But at this point, we can express u. How? We can express u as e to the power w ln 4, right? Because e to the power ln u is u, right? So there we go. So we kind of got an expression for u. And one of the values, remember, one of the solutions was u equals 2. So do we really get 2 from here? Let's find out. So if you take Lambert's w, apply it on ln 4, which you can write as 2 ln 2, 
and then obviously we can do the same trick ln2 and then write the 2 as e to the power ln2 and when you apply Lambert's w on t to the t you're going to get t which is ln2 in this case but we have ln u on the left hand side where do i get that this one ln u is equal to w ln4 so ln u equals ln2 which implies u equals 2 but again this doesn't tell me that okay u equals 2 is the only solution and we're not even looking for u i mean we're looking for who i don't know we're looking for z yes okay now we're not looking for you so don't worry about you okay so another u value besides this i'll give it to you for free is e to the power w of ln4 which is approximately negative 0 0.078 plus 0 0.290 how do i know that do you think i evaluated it no i'm not a machine but wolfram alpha is a machine do you like it anyways that's one of the solutions okay great so but wait a minute what is you what are you who are you well u is z to the z and we just found out that u is equal to 2 at least that's one of the solutions so from here we got z ln z equals ln 2 or ln z times e to the ln z equals ln 2 and then if you apply Lambert's w function on both sides like this w this w that you're gonna get ln z equals w of ln 2 uh oh and now to find z we're gonna do e to the ln z so z is gonna be e to the power w of ln 2. so what is it from here right this is not an easy thing to find so we're going to use wa which is wolfram alpha again and there are actually more than one solution let me give you both so think about it first of all you kind of need to solve this equation z to the z equals 2. so think about the graph of z to the z in the real world obviously z is going to be less than 2 if you're looking for something real maybe 1.5 1.2 you're pretty close if you said 1.5 because if you use one of the branches of Lambert's W function you're gonna get approximately 1.56 if you use another branch a negative branch then you're gonna get something that looks like this negative 0 0.06 plus 0 0.13 I and that's just gonna be another solution and obviously there are infinitely many solutions depending on which branch you use and the analytic continuation of the whatever so on and so forth anyways this is too much work this brings us to the end of this video thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed it please let me know don't forget to comment like and subscribe i'll see you next time with another video until then be safe take care and bye bye